How's it going, YouTube? We are back with another Mistweaver key from 11.0.5. So this is post buff. This is retail wow. Uh, we're in with Jade Empowerment. Now, if you saw yesterday's video, I kind of memed around, but the key went really well. And I'm really happy with that video, but sorry if you were looking for more of a commentary. So that's what today's video is about. If you're watching this the day that it releases, I am currently on vacation, so these are pre-recorded. So any support to these videos is much appreciated. So don't forget to like the video if you like it. Comment below your favorite part or when I messed up the most. Um, and yeah, let's just get into it. Make sure you subscribe too. Uh, we're doing a necrotic wake, and you guys know the curse of this dungeon. I just I, something about it. I have never been good at this dungeon, so. Hopefully that is to change today, and hopefully we got like the Master of Harmony buffs in our favor, we got um, the Crackling Jade buff empowerments in our favor, so lots of exciting things. Let's unleash the lightning. I have it ready again, but I kind of want to get a crit buff going into it, so let's do that. Boom. Charge number two. That's one that I really like about um, this hero talent tree with this talent, is that it works really well. And that you get to kind of do it back to back if you need to, or kind of use two charges as a, a standalone cooldown. Um, let's go ahead and use Chigi here. I like that we got to save Chigi there because having it here is big, like very big. Uh, but I kind of treat it like how I've been treating my Treants on my Druid, where if I need it as a bigger cooldown, like if I need to like use this to you know standalone handle a mechanic. You can use multiple charges, same with Treants. Uh, we got Shaylun's here. Uh, on Life Cocoon, just keep everyone topped up. Don't want to lose people to stupid pools. Uh, let's unleash the lightning. Yeah, looks like we're, we're chain pooling. Hopefully that wasn't my lightning that pooled. I don't think it can pool, but that's the perks of playing a spell that you've never had keybound before. I've, I've had a keybound. I am kind of memeing there, but never meaningfully pressed crackling jade lightning i don't know anyone in the right mind that's not like a brewmaster trying to pull some packs that has so uh we have chiji coming off cooldown we also have crackling jade lightning we got two charges coming off so let's go and rip it oh my god dude that's so much healing uh let's save our next charge we don't need our next charge but how are you guys liking these changes i think i mean this was such I don't know if it was a needed change. Like, realistically, I don't think it was much needed. But, like, such a good breath of fresh air in Miss Weaver's direction. Like, um, Crackling Jade Lightning needed some love. This has been a dead spell. Speaking of, let's go ahead and rip it here. Boom. The lightning. I know No one's taking damage, but, oh, my God. You see, right once I took one tick of damage, that next tick of the Crackling Jade Lightning just slammed my health bar to full. Now let's go ahead and rip it again for this big... Hey, we damage. We also have. We have to kick. We have Shaylun's. Uh, two of those got off. I just had too much to do there. Uh, we're gonna pop a defensive, which sucks right before the boss, especially on Tyrannical Week. But I saw multiple of those casts coming my way, back to back. So, just didn't want to to risk it. But what do you guys think of these changes? I know, I was hesitant about this change because it just seemed broken in its first iteration. It was because they changed it. Um, clearly they nerfed it and changed how it works so um, how the double stacking works but um i was hesitant to get excited about it but I'm, I'm happy that it made it into the game in its current state it's strong i don't think it's broken so um that is exactly where us players should want it to be uh we're gonna unleash the lightning on these this next set of ads here uh no let's actually cheat you then so we can go ahead and use one charge here. Won't be on me. Shoot. Unlike we can ourselves. Let's unleash the lightning while we still have that buff. Well, we kind of always have the buff, so. Pretty safe. But I use like a there because I know if I get marked again. Oh, that was a bad boot. If I get marked again, I know I will have um, my fortifying brewer. I should. I hope I do. If not, I guess I can Diffuse Magic and chi -G. But I was more excited about the Spinning Crane Kick, the, the Dance of the chi -G, Dance of chi -G, whatever it's called, um, buff. Because, you know, I've been pretty down on that 
talent. I've I've enjoyed the talent, but been down on it. Oh, it's always when they move off the stage on that last move. Oh, it's so awkward. Um, I've loved that talent, but I've just been down on its balancing and how infrequent it was to proc ever since it was kind of added into the game. And seeing that that's what they fixed about it is is good. I'm I'm very happy that that's what they changed about it. Let's go ahead and stand over here just in case it marks us. We're not going to like trick anyone that we're going to stand on the other side. Um, nice. Let's go ahead and stun these guys. Ooh, I took a smack there. Ooh, my stun is down, but luckily we have boop. Let's go ahead and para one of these. I can't even move through that terrain there to kick the other one. But um, I am excited to play with Dance of Cheesy, don't get me wrong, but um, I have been so impressed with this one, the Jade Empowerment, and how good it is. Like, it's actually in a very strong spot. Um, oh, God. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, no, we got juked there. We kind of stutter stepped on top of each other. Oh, that's rough. That's embarrassing. But luckily, balls falls over, so it really does not matter. Dang, we all danced with them. I thought it was pretty obvious which side the person was going to stand on, but that's okay. Um, anyways, I do want to get more uh, testing in with Dance of Chi-Chi. Is that what it's called? I feel like now that I'm saying it, yeah, Dance of Chi-Chi. Um, I want to get more testing in, but um, in my testing, still, like, they can they can keep tuning up its uh, frequency of... of how often it procs or how much damage it'll do or like you know they can keep tuning its numbers but one thing that now especially will kind of what i think will keep people from taking it um as opposed to jade empowerment is just now it shares a talent node with something that's just more desirable so um, me as a player i value things that are more consistent than um, like if something is like a, a few percentage points weaker but much more consistent i value the consistency very highly um i might be alone in that we did have to revival that let's help out this guy oh you know what we have crackling jade lightning what am i doing boom unleash it uh but i really value the consistency and it's like yeah the more uh, the more often that it procs the more consistent it will inherently be but what i mean by consistency is that um I, I kind of treat this as like a mini cooldown, kind of like how I do a Shaylin's gift. Oh god, don't make a stand here. Yeah, I can tell there's like barely any space here, so the tank needs to drag it a bit. We're just going to stand out. Luckily, we have a spell we can cast from afar. Um, but I value the, the consistency, and I think that um, Having control over when these things happen allows you to use it as a semi cooldown. Because if you just kind of like sit on your Dance of Chigi proc, you're playing that inefficient, inefficiently. And, um, oh, that healed. And, uh, but if you're playing with this one, you can kind of guarantee it every 30 seconds. Because it's basically a cooldown that I treat on like a 30 second cooldown now, which is. A weird way to think about it. It's probably not the best way to think about it, but it is, um, it is nice. Dang. Dang, these guys keep on full healing. Yeah, that was very awkward, the amount of space the tank gave us there. Okay, here we have double Thunder Focus T and we have Chi G. I I think we start off with Thunder Focus T and just unleash the pain. Let's do it again. Oh yeah, that's nice. Uh, and then now we have GG for this next follow-up damage as the tank starts getting in more danger. So let's go ahead and pop it. But I do think um, how how at least I'm treating it is I think they both have their place. Like Jade Empowerment to me is more universal and that you can take it in any dungeon and get great value from it because it just, I mean, it's good at like, ideally you have max target cap on it, but... If you have to unleash it on a boss, it still does, like, fine damage and healing. Whereas Dance of Chi-Chi, it's like, yeah, it's, it, I think it still does good damage on, on a boss. It does, like, 90k per tick for me. Um, but it's not, like, really enough to be that exciting to catch those procs on single target. 
But in dungeons where you're often doing pools that are much higher than five targets, like if you're doing like a 20 pool, like a big Arakara first pool or something, then you do like a big Arakara like mid pool, like when you cross that bridge after the first boss, that to me is a good reason to take Dance of Chigi. But like if you're doing like a Mist of Tyrna Scythe, you know, where you're always kind of pulling like two or five or like maybe you pull through a wall and pull like the frog with something, you know, it's like the, the target count there is just never high enough. Um, like this dungeon is kind of an in-between. It's like sometimes you'll do some wacky pools, like or especially in that first room, maybe upstairs you'll do some big pools. But for the most part, the pools like this one, like that one, even though that's a big pool, you care more about your single target damage on the Necromancer than you should your AoE damage. So like spinning crane kick on, on this mob is kind of not as good as you would think. Uh, so I don't know, that's just how I'm treating it. And um, time will tell where they're balanced and like which one's better. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure Jade em Empowerment, from my testing at least, has been an over performer like it's it's so good um you know i can talk about it all day long but here i am forgetting to press it let's wait for this damage to happen and then unleash the pain Ooh. do it again oh yeah that's good stuff dude it's so sick um and in in my video yesterday that i put i had lined up to post yesterday if you watched it, hopefully you guys do go back and watch that if you missed it. It's a good one. It's a, We did a Mist of Tyrannus Scythe with just like a, I called it a Sith Weaving build. Um, of even more Sith Weavy than this one. I was kind of, um, I didn't run Jade Fire Stomp, for example. So, but um, I forgot what I was saying. Fully forgot the point that I was going to make. But hey, go and watch that video. It's a good one. And um, I think it's funny. Ooh. God, let's revival. Uh, we need. Please move off of me. Okay. Your oh. Kill the kill the thing. Kill the thing. Kill the thing. Kill the thing. I can't. Uh. Where is it? Uh. Ah. That was not clean at all. But hey. We take it. What point was I making? I literally brought up yesterday's video. Promise it wasn't just to shamelessly plug. I had a point there, but um, yeah, I mean, it just overperformed. Like I said, it was a it was a mystic tier on the side, so it's kind of like a dungeon where that is the obvious choice. Um, there's kind of only like two pools in mystic tier on the side where um, dance of Chi-Chi would even be a consideration. Like maybe the first pool because you can kind of double pool there with lust on some days and. Um, then the final few pools of the dungeon, which are kind of already free, so you don't really need big damage. And then also, like if you want, if you're just caring about your single target damage, then on like the first boss, for example, Jade Empowerment there is still just like really good. So I don't know. Like I said, just been such an overperformer this talent. I also took it into raid tonight. We're on Ovenax Prague. I don't know if any of you guys have seen any Ovenax prog, but it is just a different beast. We're literally just punching and kicking with Chigi in that fight. It's wild, even on Mythic. It's a good time, but um, it's it's just weird. I was going to unleash the pain. Uh, but I was also running Jade Empowerment, and I really, really liked it. Um, there are some some pools where like you have to get a mechanic and you have to run out from the mob, and you can't stick to the boss and kick and kick and kick and get those chigi resets so it's kind of awkward the fight is like some pools you just won't get a chigi every ad set but um on those awkward pools if you run jade empowerment you can double chain lightning or pff, chain lightning double jade empowerment them and you know it feels it feels less bad than if you just sit there and try to get the chigi reset and then end up doing it like 10 seconds late and it's just like ah should i press this should i not so yeah, I am I am just like so impressed. I, I knew it would be cool, but like it's just so sick. I, I do miss the whole like you could stack up two charges and get double the effect on the one use. Um that was really cool that was happening on the beta, but to me I could just tell it was it just wasn't meant to be a thing. <clears throat> okay, as we get deeper in this into this dungeon, we know that the the dungeon kind of tricks you it's like you you think you're doing well and then you're not okay the tank is aiming those directly at us it's such a weird a weird strat but whatever pop off king 
<laughs> um, but one thing about this dungeon is I was having trouble uh, in the first few weeks of the tier. If you go back and watch in the the Mistweaver finale episode of my nice, we stopped it. Uh, the the Mistweaver finale episode of my All Healers to 3K series. I was struggling a bit on this boss, some of the pools, on the add phases to heal uh, because casts were getting off and just like things weren't getting booped and stuff. Um, but, but, Jade Empowerment is kind of sick for this phase. So I'm excited that we're going to have this going. Oh, also, by the way, this is a plus 11. I don't even know if I mentioned that at the start of this video. There's a plus 11 Necrotic Wake. Um, and for those of you who have been paying attention to my all healers to 3k series um we were like we could only get a, a nine done by the time that we got our our, our um 2500 io so this is like pretty big io gain for us if we can time this i definitely think we can especially with this group they're playing pretty well uh the tank frontal situation is a little weird but honestly none of that matters in this dungeon you just have to be able to play clean on the second half and you can time this dungeon but yeah, like I said, we'll try to use, we'll try to cycle like chi on one ad set and then alternate that with double um, Thunder Focus T charges. That is a good little cycle because um, if there's ever like 30 second damage windows, like you need to have a cooldown every 30 seconds, you can do that. You can stack your two Thunder Focus Ts for one and then chi the other. Also, we didn't communicate who's whose spear we're using but that does kind of suck with master of harmony because i will be sitting on double thunder focus tea charges so i think for the first ad set i will crackling jade lightning first so let's do that so okay. nice we kicked the volley so that's pretty cool that is really cool but now we have master of harmony we have aspect pouring into the ball so um let's go ahead and Waste our boop, but waste our, our kick because I missed my boop. That's okay. And see, now we have we have uh, Chi-Gi for this next set, which is really nice. We are going to sit on these Thunder Focus T-Charges. Let's go ahead and uh, Vivify. Let's soothe the guy because we have that now. I think that works. Let's go ahead and Shailun's coming into this and pop Diffuse Magic just in case. Diffuse Magic pre- Three volleys is probably not the play. Okay, we don't have our boop here. Oh, I was right in that. That's why they ping me. I was like looking at them like, why are they pinging me? I see now. I'm an idiot. That's why. <clears throat> That's okay. Okay. Clean up. Clean up. I always get like nervous. Um, someone asked me on stream the other day about how I deal with oh, how I deal with um, key anxiety. And I gave an answer, but now it's like I've already forgotten what I said. You know, <laughs> um, I do definitely get key anxiety, and I try my best to cope with it, but still, sometimes it is just too much. Ugh. Let me just make mistakes. Yeah, the boss got empowered, which is, you know, partly my fault, but probably could have been cleaned up on by everyone in the group. <clears throat> Look, oh, I got to drink some water. Look, I, that killed my voice even. <clears throat> Look, the boss fell over. I'm happy. Hopefully we didn't just like botch our chances because that would... That would suck. But 11 minutes for these last two bosses, if we one-shot both of them, I think we have this. <clears throat> and now we're popping our toy to give us some good luck. I think we can do this. Okay, this is going to be a pretty scary pool. Going Crackling Jade Lightning. Oh. Crackling Jade Lightning again. We're kind of just pogoing these casts. We need to actually kick them. <laughs> okay, I just have to suit and miss for a bit. This is awkward, 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 awkward. We have the the DK. 
who has uh, captured the mind of one of these big guys, it looks like. Okay, we need to do Chiji here. We're gonna have to kick these <laughs> Cosmic Ascensions since we're forced out of melee, just to guarantee that we can get these off. Yeah, we are just not playing clean. These guys are empowered. This is gonna be rough. We're gonna have to touch a death this guy. Maybe the Soothe work on this guy? No, it does not. Okay. I keep saying Soothe, but hopefully you guys know I'm talking about um, Paralysis, because now it, it mind Soothes, basically, so that's what I mean when I say that. Okay, let's actually, actual factual kick that this time. Um, okay, let's... Crackling Jade Lightning. I'm gonna, st I'm gonna hang back here with the Corpse Collector and get a kick off if I need to. Okay, take that back. We don't need to. <laughs> I kick that one. Your ascension. I could have swore that I did kick that, but... Paralysis. I am trying to stop so many casts. Like, I'm trying to stop the... The Affix and the cast, and it is just adding up. You can see my mouse is getting a bit lost. Ooh, this is scuffed. This is scuffed. Now, I don't think we have a chance of timing, maybe? I mean, if we do, like, a big pull in Lust, but then ugh, we still have two Tyrannical bosses, it's just... I don't think so, but yeah, we're trying... I think we're trying to AoE stop these casts, and they just recast, and it's like, guys, we need to, like kick the cast, like interrupt the cast. But it's just not happening. Okay, there we, we used to kick, but someone else got it right before. We just gotta get some big damage out. Okay, there was a kick. Dang, it is a shame. I will say, though, that saving our Thunder Focus Teeth for the Crackling Jade Lightning, like, to get good value, has kind of cost us some damage. Kick that. So let's just... Let's just try to get some good... Lightning damage, but also some good Master of Harmony damage. Unfortunately, it all went on to the guy that was literally about to die. So let's put down Ring of Peace. And then catch the stragglers. Nice. Dang, it looks like all that cost us. But hey, one thing that I've always tried to do on the channel is post my failures. Let's touch death that so it doesn't kill anyone. You guys know I post my failures just like I post my successes. I think it helps us all become better players when I show you my mistakes. And here, we made so many mistakes. And um, also just to show you guys, like... Look, I get overwhelmed too. A lot of these dungeons, there are some overwhelming things. And one thing that has kind of uh, really led to me getting overwhelmed more than any other change that they made in the game is the whole, when you don't kick a cast, it just sits there and recast thing. I mean, that that overwhelms me so much because then you can get trapped in these like loops where people are just like booping or not using real kicks and stuff. And it's like, oh my goodness, just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, we need to be ready to run. Okay, we were ready to run. Run out and just stand still. That way it's kind of in a straight line if I can. It looks like I can. Nice. That way it's easy for them to use the to, to dodge with these. Okay. Whew. Got back just in time to kick all those. Alright, it is fixating on someone. Oh, he does not know, or... He knew that we would kill it or something? I don't know, but... That was a Chad just stood still in that. It's good to Chiji here, I think, because... Um, it sets us up nice for the boss, but man, four and a half minutes. Ah, oh, this is such a shame. It sucks, like, this is one of those dungeons where you know so early on if you aren't going to time it. It's also one of those where it's like, one wipe kind of can guarantee you not timing a dungeon. But man, we, we we just don't deserve to time this dungeon, if I'm being real. We 
Made a lot of mistakes. Not just me, but like the whole group in general. Still through this. Okay, we are going to unleash the lightning fury here. I'm having so much fun with this this uh, this patch. Like honestly, I'm having so much fun, and I'm really excited because we're doing the whole series of like getting all the healers to, to two and a half k, and this is gonna just like change it up drastically. Like this whole series, just like the doors just flew wide open in terms of like what we can do. Um, so I'm very excited. Um, but unfortunately, if you're watching this deep into the video, first off, shout out to you. Thank you for the support. But also, um, oh, grab aggro. But also, I unfortunately am going out of town. That's why I'm pre-recording this video. Let's go ahead and pop it offensive. I'm pre-recording this video. Um. Let's go ahead and pop Chi too, because we don't need it on pool of this boss. But I'm going out of town, so that's why I'm pre-recording this video. And that does mean that I will not be able to stream um, the, our normal schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Fridays for this series. Uh, because I just won't be here to stream. So if you're someone who's been hanging out with us on streams, um, I'm going to miss you guys while on vacation. But I promise we will hit the grind twice as hard once I'm back. Um, I will say, this build, it feels like we just don't have time to use Shaloon's Gift. Um, seems like it's kind of sharing its use with, like, so many things right now. So there could be a world where we kind of move away from Shaloon's. Alright. Let's drink up. I'm going to save our Thunder Focus Tea for the actual boss. That way we get some Master of Harmony and some uh, Thunder Focus Tea cleaving. Um, there are a lot of pets here. I don't know if that's going to hurt us at all. A okay, Crackling Jade Lightning. We are lusted. Right, don't kill the mini boss. Nice. Okay, the mini boss is dying here. Let's go ahead and Thunder Focus T. Get that Master of Harmony spilling in, or I'm sorry, the Aspect of Harmony spilling into the boss. We are going to time this dungeon, but hey, we can put up a good fight, huh? So, Tiger's lost the tank so he can go and pull that easier. Let's just keep this guy alive. We really don't have anything to be doing other than healing the Steve buff right now. And baiting Swirlies, I guess, is one thing. Okay, now we can Thunder Focus T again, unleash the pain. We're also chi -ing, so... Uh-oh, chi -G, do not do it to us. chi -G, please do not take the hook. Yeah, I think Sergeant... Or Surgeon... <laughs> Sergeant Stitch Flesh. I think Sir... Oh my gosh, Surgeon Stitch Flesh took, took the hook there. Dang, this one did come down to the wire, though. Honestly, it was a lot closer than I thought it would be once we had that initial wipe. Um... But yeah, 30 seconds to do a tyrannical boss. Oh my god, could you imagine? Maybe with an uh, Ellie Shaman. Have y'all seen Ellie Shamans lately? I saw a clip of an Ellie Shaman doing like 27 million DPS. Something insane like that. Let's unleash the pain. So, Thunder Focus T, Rising Sun Kick, and then just Crackling Jade Lighting because we can. It's on the Paladin. He can dispel himself. I'm just going to do it anyways. Okay, we got Shaloons. I'll give them space. There's no point. We're not timing this, so it's like... I don't really need to play it super tight. He went straight to the corner. That was really nice. A revival here. Just make it super safe. Focus T, unleash the pain, dude. It's so sick. Even when like there, everyone was full health. No one, you know, we did like no healing there. Ooh, nice. He immune it. I'm kind of saving Chiji, so I want to do that, but 
we're, we're kind of inting by in doing so, so. Thunder Focus T, now. Top everyone up. Dang, is that AM, uh, his little shield that immunes that? That's crazy. If that's his little shield, I mean, that's broken. That's like a, a very easy investment for them to make. Very cool. Alright, let's unleash it. Still sitting on TG. Maybe we just rip it for the healing. Oh. Oh. We almost trolled there. <laughs> that was probably the worst time to use it. Uh, oops. That's okay. No one died for it. Literally the worst time we could have popped it right there. How did it, did the boss get empowered? The boss got two orbs there. Ah, that is a big area of, of of why we did not time this dungeon. Is I myself was not on top of those, but just as a group, like we were not on top of the affix this week, which goes to show you it's not something you can ignore. And I definitely need to get better myself at doing it. All right, pain time. Where's the hunter? Is the hunter still downstairs? And down there for ages. All right, this was actually a fine GG time. All right, boss died. We got a, a whopping three IO for that thing. That one was definitely timeable for sure. Like we had the damage, we had the healing, we had like all the things down except for just the, I think really just the affix. We just were not. We we kind of just ignored it, and I'm I'm definitely guilty of that. But I don't know. Okay, let's just look at the overall though, dude. Crackling Jade Lightning. I was only using it with thunder focus t and it was it was top damage by a lot you will see though like don't let that like super fool you though because normally if you go back and watch my other aspect of harmony dungeons this was our top damage source by about double it was like 33 percent ish um and since we were holding on to our thunder focus t for more opportune times like when we needed that healing it did lead to us doing less aspect healing, but maybe that should just mean that we should play around aspect and use Crackling Jade Lightning every time too, instead of playing around the Crackling Jade Lightning, but I don't know. Um, also, I don't like that you can't see the breakdown of like the source of your ancient teachings and how it just goes, like your Crackling Jade Lightning healing just goes in there, but our ancient teachings healing is massive. And I can tell you that about like a good chunk of this is from our crackling jade lightning so all in all i mean dude these changes are sick um people have been asking me hey is miss weaver s tier now and i always say no but i mean dude we're kind of crazy but the thing is like i just don't know how nutty the other healers are i don't think we're s tier still um but we're like definitely high a like you can't convince me we're not high a so uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Sorry I'm like talking quietly. I'm now conscious that it's very late and we have guests in the room right next to me. So um, once again, I am out of town this week. So any support you can show to this video, whether that's liking, subscribing, commenting, something down below, like maybe the point in which you think we, we failed the dungeon, uh, that could help too. But um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. Shout out to the three IO that we gained from this key. I'll see you guys once I get back from my vacation. Until then, take care.